Hi and welcome to another episode of Reaper TV. In today's video, we're going to take a look at a quick tip that's going to make you working with your MIDI drums a lot easier, quicker, and just make the interface just more intuitive. So let's take a look at how we can do that now. So by default, when you open up the MIDI editor and start working, you're going to have the piano rolled on the left hand side and you're going to have your MIDI information on the main window. Now, the problem with this is if you're working with drums, it doesn't make a lot of sense. You've just got a piano roll that just doesn't relate to anything to do with the drum kit. So what we're going to do is we're going to change the way this actually displays on the left hand side. And we're also going to make life a lot easier by including the note names. In other words, we're going to know that this one's the snare drum, this is the kick drum and so on. So first thing we're going to do is just change this view over. And there's a couple of ways you can do it. You can use a keyboard shortcut, you can use the menu, or you could even set up some icons at the top to actually create a shortcut through your toolbar. I'm not going to worry about doing that in this particular video. I'm going to show you the easy way through the menus. And if you need, you know, you're comfortable creating custom toolbars, then you can quickly add this from the actions list. So the first thing we're going to do is change the view that we see down the left hand side from the piano roll to the event names. So all we need to do is go into the view menu and we're going to come down and you can see that we've got piano roll, named notes and events list. We can use the keyboard shortcuts of alt one, two or three to switch between any of these. But what we're going to do is we're going to switch over to named notes. So I'm just going to select that and you can see now that just names it from one through to whatever we've got there. So it's a little better, but it still doesn't really mean anything. So how do we name these? Well, the easiest thing to do is if we go over to the Reaper stash and I'll just open up my browser window a second so we can see that. We can scroll through and we can find the MIDI drum maps. And you can see that we've got a whole host, five pages at the moment of different drum maps for different drum samples. So we've got easy drum two mappings, Neil Peart drums, general MIDI, Neil Peart drums, complete kit, and so on. So all you need to do is go through and find the relevant text files for any of the kits that you use on your MIDI, download those, save them onto your computer, wherever you want, and then you're ready to call those up later on. So to do that, we simply go into file, we come down to customize note names, and we come into load note names for active channel. And you can see we've got the option from file. So all you need to do is click on that, browse your system for that particular file or those files, then that'll load that in. Once you've done that the first time for each of the different sets that you're on there, you can come in and you'll see they're listed now below. So you can see I've got three I currently use, the Easy Drummer MIDI note names, the Easy Drummer 2, and Superior 2 Metal Foundry. So once I load in, for example, Easy Drummer 2, you can see what that does now is that'll come and name all the different channels. And if I go into File and do the same thing and just choose a different set, so we'll say Easy Drummer MIDI note names, you can see that now changes over to that particular drum kit. So whichever one we've got loaded in, I can quickly call that up and I've got access to all the names that make a lot more sense to me down the left hand side. Now at any point I can simply come back up to the view option and I can say I want to go to the piano roll and as you can see that'll keep the names on there. It just makes it a little bit more difficult to read but they are all there and if you're using a keyboard to actually sound, uh, to sequence your drums this may make more sense to you because it actually names them to the relevant uh, key as it were. So you can switch easily between the different views to whatever you find is the best way to work for you. So that really is all there is to do in this. So hope you found this tutorial useful. If you have, hit the subscribe button below. Remember, we release new videos every single Friday. And if you've got any comments, questions, or feedback on this or any of the other videos on our channel, please pop those in the comment section below. And again, remember, if you want exclusive content not available on the YouTube channel or anywhere else, visit www.reapertv.co.uk and you'll have access to that additional information there. Well, until next time, happy mixing.